This is what prospectors looked like in those days. It is clear that the thirst for wealth was not only among young people. It was probably the biggest catch of those times. Imagine the envy of those around him. Tired men warm themselves by the fire after a hard day's work. Their faces are set. It must not be the first day they have not been able to find anything. Our team did our best to make this video interesting for you guys. We'd appreciate your likes and subscribe. Enjoy! At first glance, it was easy money. So not only men but also women went there to search for gold. Although this work was much more dangerous for them, but the desire to earn easy money did not stop many people. A photograph from 1852 shows Chinese gold miners alongside wild miners at Auburn Revere in Central California. A woman stands among a group of gold miners working with a long tome device in California in 1852. Women were greatly outnumbered by men during the California gold rush. That's what the job looked like. Up to your knees in cold mountain water, you have to stand and pour the water through a sieve to find at least something. The weather did not stop anyone, and in the rain, and in the fog, and on a sunny day, these men always worked. That is why many of them got sick and unfortunately died, because medicine was not of the best quality then. In fact, it was very rare for people to go searching in such large team. Usually it is one or two people. But the more people, the more chances to find something. Makes sense. Apparently these men are finding something. This is what the gold diggers camp looked like. They went there for many weeks and some for many months. The weather often changed, so it was necessary to make a living as best as possible. At that time, women did hard work no worse than men, so they could also search for gold in icy water or dig deep holes. This is why so many women went there. Apparently, there is one family in this photo who let her everyday affairs at home to get rich. Do you think they managed to find something? This is the look on the faces of people who have just arrived in California in search of gold. They are still so happy, inspired, that they will manage to find something. In fact, many people died there and very few managed to find anything. Wonderful housewives who put on men's boots, rolled up their sleeves and took up shovels to improve their lives and their children's. We do not know where their husbands were. Perhaps they were also looking for gold or a better fate. You just look at them. Still very young but very beautiful women working the month to find bright gold. Apparently women feel gold better. They love it so much. Such cues of hard-working men are always standing near shops that sell tools for work, whereas showers, sewers, and other things were needed to search for gold.
we know a very interesting thing that the most money generated during this California fewer was precisely such small shops that sold tools for such hard work. Workers on a hydraulic mining operating in 1854 was captured on a type half plate documenting the use of high-pressure water jets to dislodge hard sediment that would then pass through sluice side boxes to extract the gold. At first glance, these four miners seem to be laboring fruitlessly deep in the Californian solace. But upon a second glance, images added gold touches and a sieve on the right and the center stairs become evident. A young 19th century Argonaut looks at the camera in 1851, defying the conventions of portrait de jour type photography at the time, along with his shovels and sieve, the tools that discovered gold in 1849 gold rush. 1865. Barclwil, British Columbia. Very busy town. As around every successful claim, a town grew up. Barkerville became the busiest gold rush. Nevada City, California, about 60 miles, 97 kilometers northeast of Sacramento, was a rough and tumble mining town during the Californian gold rush. See the portrait of a West Coast gold miner taken between 1914 by an unknown photographer. Chinese gold miners at Orepuki. One of these Chinese miners came from Guangdong, province in South China, a region that experienced social appeal caused by the Opium Wars. Gold miners. Watercauri, a row of gold miners at a gold mine in Watercauri. A trolley runs on a railway track in the middle. Two buildings are on the left behind the man. A woman chops wood to help keep the miners warm in bad weather. No stereotypes. The man found his first gold, and the photo shows his mixed emotions. Where would you spend the money for the nugget you found? Thank you so much for your watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next video.